Embarking on the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier, some thousand sailors are experiencing Guam shores for the first time. But for a handful native to the island, this port visit is a homecoming. It's nice to be back, enjoy some time with family and friends, eat, like Senior was saying, and just relax. It's great. It's great. It's a, it's a feeling you can't exp explain. But uh, I want to go diving. That's, that's what I, I miss. Guam, hey, we back out here. You know, a lot of Guam sons out here. We're here to represent. Thank you guys for uh, having home open for us. The ship coming all the way from San Diego. It's been a month-long non-stop trek, and these sailors are happy to be on solid ground. For sailor Christian Cabido, a former resident of Dededo, he hasn't been home in three years, last visiting with the Carl Vinson Strike Group. And despite spending some time away, he says the familiar feels of paradise never leave him. It feels great. Uh, you know, every time I come home, it's... It's always welcoming, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter how long I've been away from the from the island. Every time I come home, it's it's always the same. Butterflies in the stomach, arms wide open, you know. It's always a solid feeling. And despite his roots spread across the nation, he says he's most excited to reunite with his family still planted on the island. Uh, my auntie and my uncles are still here, and then um, obviously my my close friends that became family. Um, they're still around, so I'll be going to see them. And while it's a sacrifice to be away from his family and island home, Cabido says he's proud to be of service. Thank you, Guam, for, uh, you know, raising uh, a solid son. I did you guys proud, hopefully, you know. <laughs>